Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We are discussing right angles. And here is an example which will help you understand relate slope with tan of an angle. So that is what we are trying to do in this particular example. The equation before us is find the slope angle. So that is how, what we are saying. Slope angle means we need to find measurement of angle theta of the line to one decimal place. Now, whenever we find this slope angle, we are trying to say this, that if, if let us say there is a line which is kind of like this, where slope equals to m, then this angle theta is related with m. And we know that tan theta is equal to m, and therefore theta is tan inverse of angle m, right? So that is the angle which we are looking for. So this angle is always with positive x-axis. So let me write down that slope angle is the angle that line makes with positive x-axis, right? Uh, and always measured, you know, counterclockwise is positive, right? So, counterclockwise is positive. Correct? So, remember this to answer these questions. Now, let's take these ex examples one by one. So, we'll consider a simple equation of line in standard form. 3x minus y plus 1 equals to 0. Find slope angle. Then, we'll have a line passing through two points. And then, we'll have a line which passes to x-intercept and y-intercepts. So these are also two very important points. So let's begin with the very first example, which is, well, uh, this is a thinking question for you. All right, so we'll consider this at the end. And here we are saying, find the angle at which the lines y equals to 2x minus 3 and y equals to half x intersect. So we'll take it at the end, and that will be one of your test questions, okay? So let's begin with the, uh, with the examples uh, which we want to do now. So as you saw, there are many examples which I'm going to take on this topic. Let's begin with the very first question, which is, find the slope angle of the line to one decimal place. We are going to use calculator. And the equation for us is 3x minus y plus 1 equals to 0. Let's rearrange. So we get 3x plus 1 equals to y. Or you could write y equals to 3x plus 1. So if you compare with standard equation of line, you know that the slope is, let's say m, is equal to 3. Right? Uh, let me just make a small sketch of this particular line here. So on a graph, if you plot this line, it will have a y-intercept of 1, right? Let's say this is y-intercept of 1. Slope of 3 means you go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1 unit right. So you get to this point, and when you join these points, you get your line. So that is the line which we are talking about. Now when we say slope angle, it means this angle, which it makes with the horizontal, right? So let me write this angle as theta. Now, clearly, this angle is related to m, which is 3, which is rise over run. Do you see that? Rise over run. Right. So tan theta is defined as rise over run. So we write tan theta is equal to 3, and theta will be equal to tan inverse of 3. Do you get it? Right. So that is how we actually find the slope angles, very simple. So use calculator, shift tan inverse of three, bracket close, equals to 71.56. So we get the angle, angle theta is 71.56, which you could round to 
one decimal place which is 71.6 and it is in degrees perfect so we get our angle our answer as measurement of this angle theta is equal to 71.6 degrees is that clear so that is how you're going to do each and every question so let's take up the next question now which is line passes through two points a and b find slope angle of the line to one decimal place so we are given two points a is one four and b is given to us as minus three two so to find slope angle we need to find slope first so slope m is rise over run now rise is change in y value and run is change in x value so or you could use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so for us slope m will be equals to 2 minus 4 over minus 3 minus 1 so 2 minus 4 is minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 is minus 4 so we get angle of half now slope angle as you know is tan of this value is it okay is tan theta should be equal to this slope m which is half right so from here you get the angle theta should be equal to tan inverse of half correct now again let's use the calculator and find this answer so this time we have tan inverse of 1 divided by 2 or 0 0.5 and we get 26.56 Rounding again to one decimal place will give us 26.6 degrees. Is that clear? So find slope from the given conditions and then the angle. Next question here is line with x intercept 40. So let me sketch this time and show you the results. Line x intercept is 4 and y intercept is 2. So let's say these are the points 2 and 4 correct so let's say this point is 2 for us the y intercept 4 in, is the x intercept for this graph x y plane now what is slope for the line slope of the line is equal to rise over run correct now in this case rise is how much now you could also write this point as you could write these points the first point let me call this as a and let me call this as b then i know a coordinates will be 0 and 2 and for b the coordinates will be 4 and 0 so rise is change in y value 2 minus 0 we could write the other way also and change in x value 0 minus 4 so we clearly get this as 2 over 4 but with a negative sign so it is negative half now slope angle as you can see in this case is is this value right do you see that this this angle theta is bigger than 90 degrees so we have an obtuse angle do you see that part so let's check the result so we get now slope angle means tan theta so this theta we want to find so if tan theta is equals to minus half so theta is equals to tan inverse of minus half negative value so let's this time do tan inverse of minus half shift tan inverse we are expecting more than 90 1 divided by 2 and what do we get we get minus 26.56 correct now we actually get minus 26.56 now how do i write this as the obtuse angle that is a big question for you correct perfect so so minus 26 point this really means that the angle is this much when we do clockwise then we get angle so that is in quadrant 4 
what we want is the other angle correct since this minus 26 is that angle we can write theta is equals to 180 degrees minus 26.56 to get our answer you get the idea right so we'll do 180 minus 26.56 and that gives you as a decimal value 153.44 correct if i take tan of 153.44 right so that is our answer what do i get i get 0 0.4998 which is 0 0.5 do you see that part so when the angles are negative you have to do 180 minus that angle to get the real answer correct so in this case our angle is slope angle is 153.4 you are rounding to one decimal place so you'll write 153.4 degrees is that clear to you so do not write that negative answer give the angle which the line makes with the positive x-axis so it is the angle shown 153.4 degrees so i hope that works well with you you understand the whole concepts now in the next video i'll take a few more examples some of them you've already seen angle between two lines uh, and then some more to give you good practice feel free to write your comments and share your views i hope you understand and appreciate the exercise if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best